comfortable here for you, Murray. I walked into this bar tonight, I'm like, how the fuck is anybody going to see me over this black line in front? <laughs> this is like censor for my penis. It's going to bend down like this be like, you can't even know I'm fucking talking right now, man. <laughs> you don't even know I'm here. So let's do it, kids. Woo! Ready to laugh? All right. Yeah. 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 Just started a, uh, the economy got into shit, so I opened up a hot dog stand on Sunrise Highway. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling it Anne Frank's. It's kosher hot dogs called Anne Frank's, and uh, the ingredients are hidden. Ah, make a thinker, yeah. I am Jewish, if my whiny asshole voice didn't tell you all. Yeah, uh, I grew up with very, very Jewish parents, so they were very cheap. My parents are very cheap, you know? My parents actually bought my circumcision on a Groupon. It was half off a half off. I wound up with eight skin instead of four skin. You know? you know what you get when you get your circumcision on a Groupon? You get Michael J. Fox doing your circumcision. You get a moil with fucking Parkinson's, all right? Don't buy online, kids, all right? Jewish holidays came up. You know how hard it is to buy a fucking temple ticket these days? All right, church, you can go for free with, with temple. You gotta go outside and fucking deal with scalpers out front. It's Jew on Jew negotiation. So you know what I did? I actually started a, uh, an online website. It's equivalent to Ticketmaster. It's called StubHub.com. Yeah, yeah, it's basic Jew on Jew negotiation. You can sit so close, you get spit in your face from the rabbi when they right in your right in your face, man. Yeah, that's where I'm going with that joke. Deal with it, kids. All right. Yeah. I have bad ADD. Anybody else have ADD here? Yeah. Yeah. I had such bad ADD as a kid that my mom put me in a concentration camp. <laughs> and it was an old Jewish camp also, so that, that made sense. Uh, yeah, but I, people say these days, they go, I don't have ADD. I have ADHD. Isn't that just ADD in high definition? 1080 megapixels of ADHD, right guys, right? I do have a girlfriend. I know it's believable. Thank yeah! You guys, thank you. And, uh, you know, she's amazing, but girls in total are fucking confusing. You guys agree girls are confusing as yeah. shit? Yeah, right? yeah! Yeah. Right? I mean, I, I, I was in bed with my girlfriend the other night. We were in bed, and uh, things were getting hot and heavy. Things were getting good. And I hear her saying things she doesn't normally say. She's like, oh my god, Mark. Oh my god, I just got a double. I just got a double, a double, a double. I'm like, wow, look at me. I'm doing pretty fucking good. All right, man. keep it going, keep it going. Then I hear, oh my god, Mark, I just got two O's. I just got two O's, two O's, two O's. I look down. She's playing words with friends. It's my life, guys. It's my fucking life. Then the other day, she tells me, Mark, I think it'd be fun if we got a little kinky, if we started using toys in bed. We start using toys in bed. It'd be so much fun, right? I got so excited. I ran downstairs. I came back up with a box of Legos. And she said, Mark, I was talking about like a dildo. I wasn't talking about that. I said, we can build that. That's the beauty of Legos. Thank you. I'll be here all night. I'm like Reverend King, right guys? No? No good? Tough crap. All right. You know what I hate? I hate people that are racist, though. I, I personally hate it. I hate the fact that somebody will look at you guys and be like, Oh my God, you three must have the biggest penises in the room. You're black. You guys have the biggest dicks ever, right? You get that one? Yeah. Right? Yeah, the way, but the thing is, the way I look at it, I think, Oh my God, the color black is very slimming. You guys must have small penises. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking... John, let's... John, get the cab. Get the keys. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Have you guys noticed that every movie's been coming out in 3D lately? Like, movies that don't need to be in 3D are coming out in 3D. Like, Avatar. That's a cool movie for 3D, right? But where the fuck do we draw the line? Precious in 3D? She's 3D enough. What, do I gotta pay an extra 450 to have her fat rolls hit me in the head in the third row? Right? 
What about Brokeback Mountain in 3D? Do I need Jake Gyllenhaal's dick poking me in the head? And I'm dodging it, I'm not. My glasses would be on the floor so fast. Yeah, they would. What are the jokes I got for you guys? Uh, okay, so I came to the conclusion. I went to uh, a Jewish summer camp the other day for visiting day. Anybody here ever been to Jewish visiting day? Les Deegan, yeah. Join me, Les Deegan. Yeah, right? You know what I figured? If Hitler was around today, all he would do is need to bomb fucking visiting days, right, around the summer, because that's where all the Jews are on the weekends. Right, Les? No, nothing at all. Nothing. Working on it, working on it. I used to live at home with my parents until recently. I moved out with my girlfriend, who's fantastic. But um, it was tough bringing girls home. Because you know what the first thing a girl sees when they walk into your house is your bar mitzvah picture hanging on the wall? And I look like the same. They say something like, wow, you haven't changed. Keep in mind I was 13 at the time. But now it's funny because in the morning I wake up and I see my girlfriend and I'm like, she's like, how did you sleep? How did you sleep last night? I'm like, I slept like a baby. I snored all night, I cried, and I shit the bed. So, uh, get on that. Yeah. Never did that. Now I'd be fucking dead. She's here somewhere, so don't, no one laugh at all for the rest of the set. I'm Mark Savage, guys. Thank you so much.